Today, I will talk about supply chain strategy and decisions. It is part of my series of lecture on supply chain management. This is my lecture outline. It is my small lecture. First, I will talk about supply chain strategy. Then, I will talk about various uh, strategies for supply chain. After that, I will talk about supply chain decision levels. And finally, I will talk about supply chain decision phases. So, supply chain strategy refers to how the supply chain should operate in order to compete in the market. So, this is the uh, sort of a definition of supply chain strategy. The strategy evaluates the benefits and costs relating to the operation. The supply chain strategy focuses on the actual operations of the supply chain that will be used to meet a specific goal. So, these are various supply chain strategies. I have collected all these uh, from various internet resources, mainly from this resource. So, one is demand-driven supply chain strategy. This is a simple strategy. Uh, here, uh, we respond to demand. Then, the second is agile supply chain strategy. Uh, in this strategy, we focus on flexibility and responsiveness. Then is collaborative supply chain strategy. Uh, they, they, there is a need for collaboration between suppliers, customers and other partners. Then we have a strategy known as collaborative planning, forecasting and replenishment. Uh, there is separate lecture on CPFR uh, in my lecture list. Then vertically integrated supply chain. Uh, here the main firm or manufacturer is engaged in every stage of supply chain operation. Then uh, vendor relationship and cross docking strategy, for example, uh, as uh, used by Walmart. Then robust supply chain strategy as used by Amazon with extensive warehouses and distribution network, a diversified fleet and use of advanced technology. Then decentralized manufacturing and distribution facility, for example, used by Zara. So, these are various strategies uh, I have collected from internet resources, mainly from this site. So, now uh, let us see what are the various decision levels. So, there are three levels, strategic level, tactical level and operational level. So, strategic level uh, decisions, uh, these are concerning long-lasting effect on the whole organization, uh, such as supplier selection, partnership with suppliers, the size and location of manufacturing sites, products to be manufactured, decision regarding product design, what to make internally and what to outsource, and sales market decisions. So these are various strategic long-term decisions. Then tactical decisions. Tactical decisions focus on adopting measures that will produce cost benefits, such as using industry best practices, developing a purchasing strategy with favored suppliers, production decisions, working with logistic companies to develop cost-effective transportation, developing warehouse strategies to reduce cost of storing inventory, inventory policies, transportation strategies, and the time horizon for tactical decisions is quarterly or yearly. Then finally, operational level. These decisions include purchasing agreement with suppliers, making schedule of production, moving products in the warehouse, lead time quotations, routing and truck loading that include transportation, then taking orders from customer. These are day-to-day -day operational decisions. So, uh, finally, what are the uh, supply chain decision phases? So, various phases include, first of all, uh, strategy is identified, which is uh, best suitable for our firm. Then we uh, design the supply chain. And these decisions include uh, location and capacities of production and warehouse facilities, products to be manufactured at various locations, modes of transportation, types of information system to be used. So these are some of the design-related design decisions. Then supply chain planning. Uh, these include uh, medium-term uh, planning, then supply chain operations or day-to-day -day activities. So these are the decision phases. So this is all for today. Thank you very much.